We launched Imago Day on August 1st, and we meet Sunday mornings at, uh, at 9.30 over at the Fairchild Cinema, which is interesting to meet in a theater. There's a lot of setup that has to be done, but we've got great people that come in early in the morning, get us all set up and ready to go. Yeah, Imago Day Community Church is really focused on community. We have a high degree of volunteer involvement. And we need that to make church happen on Sunday morning. And then our small groups have continued to be a big part of the church. A lot of those were established before, but they continue to be an integral part of, of who we are and building that community during the week. God has blessed us with a really incredible team of people who are using their gifts and talents to shepherd people, to teach people, to kind of deepen the bench where nobody's getting burned out with all that setup and all the things to do. And one of the fun things that happened uh, for us last summer, not too long after we got established, was to do baptisms. And we did that in a horse trough on a trailer in the parking lot on one of those 100 degree Tri-City days. Uh, we tried to get the water as warm as possible, but I heard it was a little bit cold. But uh, we baptized about a half dozen people, kids and adults, and that was cool. That was a cool time of uh, coming together, seeing new life, and people celebrating that. You know, back at the old campus, we started this thing called the Fellowships. You know, that was something Adam and I kind of had an idea years ago, it seems like. It's a potluck and, and people just around the table talking and enjoying the community. Uh, we do it right there at the theater now. We do it in the lobby at the theater. We roll tables in, ask people to bring chairs. Uh, they bring food and every time we have one of those, people are just blown away by just the, the sense of community that we have in Imago. You, you could see where we came from and everything that we do, but you could also see that we're getting used to the fact that we, we are a small church and we're not connected to a larger church anymore. One kind of funny story is our business license. We, we uh, applied for all these licenses and things we had to do. And then we got some information from a very reliable source that we would never have that in time. Joe Saff, the guy that's doing all that stuff for us, uh, he, he was sweating it. And I just told him one day, I said, Joe, you know what? We will have it right before we need it. And uh, sure enough, with, within a few weeks, right really before we had to file some paperwork and open bank accounts and do all that stuff, we got our business license. And I, and I just told him, I said, hey, God's got us covered. He says, that's why you're the pastor. Yeah, one of the challenges was to come up with a budget. We, we set a giving budget when we started and we found out pretty early that we made a mistake. We, we did not see how, how generous God's people would be to Imago Day. God's directing people with their money and their talents and their gifts, and people are pouring them into the church. The giving has just exceeded the budget that we set every month. And so that has been really reassuring to know that people aren't just coming because they thought it would be a fun place to go, but they're committed. They're committed to serve and they're committed with their finances as well. Giving has exceeded our expectations, but I think that's because people are finding a home. They, they're finding a, a church home that they love to be in. They have trust in the leadership and they just love being with the other people. So uh, that's a good thing. And, and everybody's feeling this sense that, you know, God is moving here. We get to preach the gospel every week and we get to see people come. We get to love on them and we get to try to help them, you know, kind of find their place in, in, in the kingdom. And that's just cool. Do we have a permanent home or is a theater a place that we hang out for a while? I've heard several people mention, you know, I really enjoy being in the theater. And it is a welcoming place. And several people have invited friends who may not grace the doors of a church on a Sunday morning, but they'll certainly go to a theater because they're comfortable being there. When all this started, it, it seemed like a, a tumultuous uproar. I mean, there was a lot of turmoil. And, and not to say it was easy, but Bethel started us out well a long time ago. You know, being part of Bethel is our DNA. We, we really were a church plant by Bethel. And I feel like Bethel has just generously supported us at the get-go. And, and even now, I don't ever want to forget where we came from, but I also want everybody to know that Bethel's uh, support and generosity didn't just stop when we started, it continues to go on, and, and I'm thankful for that. It's a real blessing to have that.